Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos. I wanted to show you some of the great recording features on the DGX 660 by Yamaha. The DGX 660, this was white, they do it in black as well. It's a great instrument because it has a full weighted 88 note keyboard. It's really realistic to play. Great speakers, uh, sustain pedal, although you can buy a three pedal unit if you wanted to, and um, a big sound. Now the recording feature I want to show you is using the, the buttons on this left hand side. We've got uh, the different tracks, there's six in all that we can record at the same time. And over here we can turn the song section on if you want to come over to this song button. And this song button here turns on the whole song section. Now we, because we're in the user section we've got to make sure we've got tabbed across to the left hand side to user songs. Now to make sure there's nothing in it already, if you hold on, um, we're on user song one, so button number one and hold the clear A button down. I did it too quickly, let's just exit again. Record and that one. And it will say clear user song one and we want to go yes, let's clear the whole song. And then we've got a blank canvas to record our, our melodies into. So we've got one, two, three, four, five tracks plus an accompaniment track. I'm going to record my melody track in first because that's normally the one that you can play more confidently. So I'm going to go record and press number one. And that now lights up on the screen. If you just come over for a moment, it says record number one in uh, a lighter background. And we now know that the record, it's going to record track one, which is our melody track. And we've got a flashing light here. And we've also got a metronome that we can turn on. And that's a great click track to make sure our timing is, is, is good. So if I turn on the metronome track, make sure the speed's okay. That's quite fast what I want to do. So I'm going to press tempo and I'm going to just wind it back a little bit. That's fine for me. So I've got my speed set now, uh, and I'm going to play into it. And the moment I start playing, it's going to start recording. OK? I'm going to press stop, and that now stops my recording, and it says save OK. If you look on the screen here it says do you want to save it yes or no and we want to save it so we'll press the yes button over on the keypad. So let's hear what that sounds like now. We'll press the play, the start stop button here and that's my recording and that's fine. Now let's we'll do the left hand now. We've got the the right hand recorded. We want to play the the left hand in now. Trying to do them both at the same time is is quite a hard thing to coordinate when you're learning. So we're now going to record in the left hand at the same time as the right hand is playing back. You could just use the right hand as a, a practice track. But if I record my left hand, come over to the panel, we're going to hold the record button down and press left, which is the second track. It's now got record and second track in the light background to say we're going to record the second track. And the first track has got a dark background it's going to play that back for us. So we could have the metronome on again if we wanted to. And I'm going to play my left hand now to go along with that. OK, and press start, stop at the end. And that's not got that recorded. It says, do you want to save it? If you come over to the screen, save OK. And again, yes, we want to go to the yes button and that's now saved them both in. So let's listen to what they sound like together. Now at this point we could play either of them back on their own and rehearse the part to go with it so we get the, um, the coordination of where they sync together in our mind. Or we could play along with it and do another track. So quite, quite nice to add some strings to that maybe. So if I go record track three, just like we did before, record and three. I'll go to the voice section, go through the categories till the string sounds come up. Live strings or allegro strings. We can just play along with the recording. And now we've got three tracks recorded. When we save that one, yes. 
And when we play them all back together, and we could actually go up to the five tracks that we have in there as five melody tracks to record. And if we wanted to, we could actually see the score of the first two tracks. The reason why I kept my left hand track as the second part and my right hand part as the first track is if we press the score button on the panel over here, look, score, we can now see the music that I've played in. And when we play them back together, there's the melody. actually see the melody track on the main screen. So it's quite a good way to actually um, build up your songs and a good way to uh, record into the instrument and you can save that song, you can name it, you could even take it off on a memory stick as a MIDI file and if you've got something like Sibelius or Finale you can print it off a of sheet music from your playing in. Hope you found that useful, look out for more recording tips and tricks on the ePiano's YouTube channel. I hope you found that useful.